Hey, Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Yuck! if you... You guys are working way too hard! You're always looking to one-up us, aren't you? Seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, let's get some treasure. Treasure! So much for treasure. This cupboard is bare. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. These channels lead to the center of the room. They look like they're designed to let lava flow from those channels in the wall. Why would you want to do that? Hi, Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh. Who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free. I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice though. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Hey, Olivia. Yeah? Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. So, what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. But some cocoa beans would be cool, too. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Hey, 
Axel? What you need, buddy? Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. So, what kind of loot you think we're gonna find in here? Oh, man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. Well, that does me no good. again. It's working. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. I'm going to keep trying to solve this.
actually would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the border. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Reminds me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut, and I was super jealous of you. It's just, I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Sorry, Axel. I found this cake, and I'm gonna keep it. Aw, oh, man. Huh. A pumpkin. Not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap! Nearly there! Okay, act... Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa, you've so got to teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. Oh, all these mobs, where does it end? Yes. Tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! 
Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Sorry, but who are you again? Oh, I get it. The Order of the Stone is so fancy that they don't even recognize us anymore. Even though we used to wipe the floors with you guys every building competition. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> says the heroes that just called their group the new Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... ...he wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mmm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? There's no shame in being second-rate eight. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. We're bringing it home. It'll be safe there. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. wild, epic adventure full of monsters, hidden temples, treasure... Oh, I can't take it anymore! Ah! Okay, we're awesome! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Happy 
happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house. And also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more. <laughs> You're welcome. Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! What about just moving it someplace else? Sure. Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> it's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? I'm sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Ah! Slippery slope, Jesse. Today, the lava house. Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. <laughs> Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? Hey, um, sorry about your house. Oh, now you're sorry? I'm sorry that I live in a time where people don't appreciate true genius! Ah, uh, would you get over yourself already so Jesse can show you what we found in the jungle? What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're gonna tear this down, we better start getting some buckets together to scoop up all the lava. You got any iron? Oh man, no. I'm all out. <sighs> okay. We better go mine some more. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Once we give this majestic house funeral it deserves. Sounds good. I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. It's been ages. Where were you? Oh, you know, just helping to rebuild and stuff. Weatherstorm left a big mess out there. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute, I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh! I hate that guy! 
whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? Wow, so that temple we went to, was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource! What a beautiful sight! Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse! Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. But well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries? You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately! Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but, oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kind of has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. So, you think it's the right place then? Oh yes, Jesse. Oh yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay. Careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not. Huh? Doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny.
You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Some sort of room up there. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic. We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. So they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Seems promising. Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. That's a weird looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you could understand, Aiden. Give it back. Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. We're going after Aiden and we're going to take him down. Heavy. I am uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. 
There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you. Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing. Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal, the Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be. The Eversource. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? This is in memory of my lava house. Long live lava! You're building. I, you, I, I, I don't. Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh you don't know? You, 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 you were building. Uh, unauthorized building is against the law. Wait. There's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This, this makes no sense. No sense at I, all. I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, it, this is making me terribly nervous, but, uh, first those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I, I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Unbelievable. Who made it? Whoever it was must have had the Eversource. It's the only explanation for the copious amount of rare materials they used to build it. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We just need to find the inn that nervous guy mentioned. How hard could it be? No idea. But it's definitely our best bet so far. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you! Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat.
No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it. You can stop writing now. Intense. Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. The founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The Founder finally approved my petition. The Founder? That's her palace up there. She is the Keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. And so this Founder makes all the rules? You got it. She's the one that protects us from the Eversource. Well, it seems only right. That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. I just don't understand why everyone shouldn't be allowed to build. Ha! <laughs> what a sentiment. I mean, it is a good thought, but it's crazy. Hey, again? Yes? Reginald, huh? Can I call you Reggie? No, I'd really rather you didn't. It's, uh, Reginald. I'm looking for the inn. You know where it is? Uh, yeah, it's back over that away. Milo's place. Milo, huh? Thanks. No problem. So, I'm curious, what kind of stuff do you guys do for fun around here? Oh, uh, all sorts of things. Make wish lists of resources. Practice low inventory builds. Some people do poetry. <laughs> it's a pretty great place to live. Fancy duds you're wearing, Reginald. Is that a uniform? I try not to brag about it, but I'm actually the captain of the guard. One of the reasons I'm allowed to supervise a build like this one. Don't let me interrupt you guys. Good luck. Much obliged. Hi! Uh, hello. Do you need help with that? What? No! I mean, this was authorized as a solo build. No unauthorized build partners. How's it going, Lucas? I'm okay. Just watching these guards. They really mean business. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Especially when people are doing boring things not worth staring at, like simply minding their own business next to a wall. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes. Yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. But, uh, <clears throat> not too many moments. <laughs> what did you need? Okay, seriously, Guy, what's your deal? I mean, are you on the run? Undercover? Oh, I see. Just because I don't want to speak with you, that means I must have a deal. Maybe I just don't want to speak with you. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this is our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? 
How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? I am uncomfortable with this line of questioning. You sure keep saying I don't know anything a lot. Don't lie to me, Milo. That's how bad things happen. Fine, if it will make you leave me alone. That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps! Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. You'll be fine, I for. Oh, this is not good. What are you... Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! Evil builders! Atrocious! Everyone! Everyone! Please! Well, I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to that ever source at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come with me! This is completely understood! Jesse! We need to get out of here! Sorry, Ivan. I'm going with Milo. Me too. Quick, man, follow me! Wait, wait! I'm, I'm coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Get right up! Run! Right. Can't think she's over there! Come on! here yes there's nowhere to hide in here it's a dead end before I take you to any further you must take an oath I think they went this way you must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you what do you swear that Can't let him get away. Milo I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else fantastic Philippe This way! This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, it can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. It can be difficult, it's true. Many items have to be snuck under the noses of guards. Wow, and so are you the leader of this little outfit? Yes, I suppose you could say that. You see, one day, a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I 
put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's dungeons. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Wait, you just dropped some dirt. What was the crime? The crime, Jesse, was the egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. And Ivor, I guess. Milo, your people are rebels, willing to fight the system. Will they help us save our friends? Why, I think they might. Hey, Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. We have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please! Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Okay, if you guys don't cool it, I'm gonna have to get out Lady Smackdown and Mistress Mayhem. And they're feeling feisty today. Everyone, everyone, please! I assure you, these aren't just any outsiders. They're the ones who built that magnificent bridge into town today. Dude! What? Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. They say they're builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. Oh, come on, we don't have time for this. It'll be fine. You're one of the best builders I know. One of? We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from. You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse? It took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. Oh, thanks. Let's see here. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn, I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. Meh? Getting nervous yet, Milo? <laughs> what? No, of course not. This day is going exactly as I hoped it would go when I got out of bed. <gasps> Wait, mercy! <laughs> Jesse, what is that thing? Is it... is... is it safe? Everyone, everyone, please, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> what, that monster! It, it wants to eat us! No, no, it won't hurt anyone. It's totally tame. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. We're sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource from my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! I'm overwhelmed at the thought. Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. 
Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Wow, the founder really outsmarted you guys with all those laws of hers, didn't she? I... I don't understand. Ah, uh, adorable. Means you guys need to start thinking like builders out there. We're gonna make a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Jesse, we will never forget this day. Okay, my friends. This should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Freeing the Eversource for the people! Supposedly? We're pinning all of our hopes on supposedly? Ha! <laughs> you worry too much. Enjoy the thrill of mystery! I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Oh. Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. What are the odds? Am I right? Hang on, I thought you guys were arrested. We were! But we broke out. No thanks to you! I for easy. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide! We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Oh, right. Milo Lucas. Lucas? Milo. Milo Ivor? Ivor Milo. He's a new friend. I am charmed. Yeah, yeah. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? Yeah. See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. Very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. Hmm. 
I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. Huh. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water, placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! Ingenious. So, how was prison life? Oh, it was wonderful. I've always wanted time behind bars to work on my poetry. That was sarcasm, in case you were curious. Jesse, what are you doing? Ha, huh, sorry. How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay, I believe in you. say right now probably something like Jesse it looks like it doesn't have any power You believe it? We got in. Yes, I'm very grateful to you for all of your help. Give yourself some credit, Milo. You've done Build Club proud. This must be where the founder crafts things for the people. sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities.
harbor source, here we come. Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is... Is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So this must be where the resources come from. Different monsters and creatures, different drops. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Eversource. What? No way. Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Hey, I'm with you, Ivor. Let's grab it and get out of here. Aha! Adventure! Dude, seriously? I knew it! I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! I, I was just holding it. I wasn't really gonna take it. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals. Oh, Aiden, will you just shut up already? You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. I've got Aiden! Save the founder! Oh, do you got me, Lucas? Got you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! Lucas! <gasps> ah! I'll take it from 
here. You're down here too? Lucas, you made it. Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm, got me pretty good. I'm just so glad you're okay. When Aiden pitched you over the side, that was awful. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan either. <laughs> ah, it was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. We made it! We're alive! This is huge! Yes. Yes, you are correct. This... this is huge. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths. <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that would be overwhelming for anybody. First things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Sounds like the start of a winning plan to me. Getting back up. My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. What's 
going on up there? Oh, that's not a good sign. Definitely a bad sign. Your city's probably in big trouble right now. I can't believe he's so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. Of course, I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? Gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? Once I get my flint and steel back from the blaze rods, it'll be my ticket out of here. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh, I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. It got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up. Try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, I'm Jesse. I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save you. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Very 
quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. A quick version? You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. See you on the other side. It's like that, huh? Blade Rod! Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut! Hey, jerkwad, leave him alone! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the founder with you? <laughs> what the... Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! Just hand over the chicken, Aiden. Hand it over before I make you hand it over. Just... die already! Should've left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, I am gonna kick your butt. I can't wait to see you try. Huh? Take it! It's yours! Just 
please, don't hurt me. You did it. Jesse, we need to get out of here. What do you want to do with him? Please, this place is getting worse by the minute. You can't just leave me here. Take me with you. After everything you've done, I'm not sure you deserve that kind of mercy. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. Well, let me tell you, Reggie. First thing you need to do is go get yourself some wood. How, uh, how do I do that? You find a tree and then you just start punching. <sighs> I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, guards, check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Ooh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah, hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry, got a little carried away there. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky! It is time for us to run free! 
build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? A well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Just try and play nice with the founder, okay? I know you don't always get along, but her heart's in the right place. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall, too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Aw, oh, come on, Ivor. It could be fun. What? When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you going to set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs, and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here where we've been. You'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.